Hi everybody, this is Emily from the NetZoom team, here to show you how easy connectivity and cable management are using NetZoom. NetZoom understands that accurate connectivity is essential for effectively managing data center resources and illustrating the interconnectedness of devices, sites, and systems. NetZoom lets you model port-to-port -port copper, fiber, and power connectivity between devices. Not only that, NetZoom includes models of hundreds of popular cables and allows you to custom define your own cords and cables, including the model, color, and length. Knowing how devices are connected to each other is crucial for effectively managing your data center, and NetZoom uses connectivity to model the entire power chain and impact analysis by helping to determine which devices and business services may be affected by a device failure or planned maintenance outage. So let's jump right in and make a connection between two devices in NetZoom. First, let's log into NetZoom. Enter your NetZoom application server URL in the web browser. Then enter your username and password. Now that we're logged in, we'll navigate to the Edit Data Center feature under the Data Center menu. This will allow us to make ad hoc changes to our data center. We click the quick action, Data Connectivity, to launch the Connectivity Wizard. This tool will allow us to map the port-to-port -port connections between two devices. Now then, we need our devices. We'll use this copper patch panel in this rack and we'll right click on it and click add device to the left pane. As you can see, that device's front and rear ports are added to the leftmost pane. Then, we'll take this network appliance and right click and add it to the right pane, seeing the front and rear ports of that device. Looks like neither of these devices have any connectivity, aside from the front to rear of the patch panel. So let's change that. We'll select port number one in the front from the patch panel and port number one in the front of the network device. Then we click this button right here called connect. As you can see, the pick cable form pops up. This form is populated with cables that have been defined in NetZoom. NetZoom comes with several standard cable models, but you can also custom define cables, including their color, type, and length. We'll be going over that later in the video. Let's pick the cable we want to use and click the Select button. As you can see, the two devices are connected using the cable that we've selected. Since this is a copper connection, it's using a copper cable, but if it were a fiber connection, the list of cables we would have to choose from would be fiber cables. Once you've defined your connections, there is a need to navigate those connections for troubleshooting purposes. This can be done using the Navigate Quick action. Let's take a look at NetZoom's op options for navigating connectivity. We'll use this server as an example. Hover over the Navigate Quick action and click Network. As you can see, it looks like this device has several connections to patch panels and other devices. Now. When we look at this port, it appears to have two connections. This is because the particular device is routed through a patch panel. If we click this top connection with a red line through it, the navigation tool will bypass the patch panel and take us to the destination device. As you can see, the device appears on the right pane. This blue arrow without the red line will take us to the patch panel, which similarly will appear in the right pane. Now, See this connection with the green arrow over here? That denotes the front to rear patch panel connection. When I click it, the rear ports of that patch panel will appear on the left pane. Also, notice that whenever we navigate a connection, it's mapped out down here at the bottom pane. This connectivity chain shows you the connections you have already navigated to, as well as a hyperlink to each port in the connection chain. Clicking on a hyperlink opens that connection in the quick action. Now, as previously stated, standard cables are predefined in NetZoom. However, if you want to define your own custom cables or cords, such as if you have utilized Hydra cables, you can do so. Any cables added to your basic models feature and approved will be available in the pick cable form when you make a connection. Navigate to the basic models feature under the inventory menu. Now, let's search for a cable. Click the device library quick action to pull up the device library search window. We'll search for the cable we need here. I happen to know a cape I happen to have a Hydra cable in mind from the man manufacturer Data Center Systems, so I'll select the manufacturer's list and enter that. And when we click the search button, 
We can see data center systems in the results. This is the cable we'll be adding today. Click on it and drag it over to the cables basic model store. The add cable form will pop up. We'll make sure this form is properly filled out. Since this is a fiber cable, we'll select fiber from the cable type. We can also use this form to define custom ports for our cable. We'll go over that in greater detail in another video. Click the Save button, and as you can see, the cable has been added to our cables store. Don't forget, you must right-click and approve a cable for it to appear in the Pick Cable form. Finally, you can define the length, width, and even color of your cable by editing the properties here. These can be changed on a cable-by-cable -cable basis, so you can completely model your port-to-port -port connectivity with utmost accuracy. NetZoom can even automatically calculate a quarter cable length when a connection is made. We'll go over exactly how that works in another video. That covers the basics of connectivity between devices in NetZoom. But remember, connectivity is a huge part of modeling your data center, and this video is just an overview. Please check out our other videos for more tips on how to use the NetZoom product. And if you're interested in trying out NetZoom for your own data center, you can visit netzoom.com to schedule a free demo.